Welcome to your market update charts of the day. It's Thursday, the 22nd of February 2024. Mike Smith, an analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. So, looking across the news, obviously, we saw US markets close mixed, but since then, we had Nvidia smashing earnings expectations and up 9% in after hours trading. They reported, of course, after the closing bell. And consequently, of course, US futures are up in Asia. The Nasdaq futures up around about 1.3%, but the other indices follow in suit. Asian markets generally following that sort of mixed US lead earlier on, but we are seeing a little buying. The ASX is lagging a little bit. It's near neutral, but the Nikkei has hit all-time highs today. European equity futures also pointing to a positive open this afternoon. US dollar index looks as though it's about to clock up its sixth straight day of losses moving towards the bottom of a short-term range. Gold edged higher towards that important 2030 level, and we saw another strong session on copper, which consolidated its move over that technically significant 385. 392 is the next interesting level to the upside. Oil also moved back up towards the 200 EMA, trading in a very short-term range at this stage. And likewise with Bitcoin, which continues to pause around that 52,000 level after last week's strength. Of course, we've still got the last few S&P 500 companies reporting earnings to close earnings season over the next few days. But really, global PMI is more likely to influence sentiment today, along with US jobs and Eurozone CPI, which is also due. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts at Core RI. We're going to start with the ASX and look at Megaport Limited, ticket code MP1. You can see there we're back up to retest this 1388, which has become an increasingly important level. Should we breach that, there's a possible move up towards this 1580, which would be a significant gain in this price uh, of around about 13% in the medium term. It may take a little while to get up there, but you can see historically this level that we're trading at now is really quite important. And hence, that's why we're seeing the pause. If we look on the FX market, the GB yen is looking interesting. Uh, we had an initial buying coming into the GB pound and then a pause around this R1 pivot level at 190.14. It seems to be holding over 190 over the last couple of hours or so, but failed at this stage to breach it. If we do, we've got a 30 pip move up in the first instance and possibly even a move up towards 191 during the day. UK does have some PMI data out later, which may impact on this to some degree as well. So watch that this afternoon. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.